what, what looks the same. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> the the Navi. Navi. So I you're like... gonna start dailying this to work? No. I mean, you got the storage. I just realized what this bike is. If it was a person, it's Paul. It's awkward. It's reliable. Okay, I like it. It's every bit of what the Grom is, minus a little power, plus a little bit of like fun. I feel like it's a. Uh... It's unidentifiable, I guess you could say. I don't know. I, I see what it could be, not what it is. Uh, we I want your opinion. Feels kind of cheap. It's weird, man. <laughs> it's 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 pretty gutless. I guess this is turning into a, a tour of the tour. Navi. You want to tell us, show us some other features, Paul? Yeah, your tools. Just because I don't want to break it. <laughs> Sure. What's the funny story? So I was working for a roofing company and I was driving like F450 flatbed, all this crap. I parked on this really steep hill. We're picking up all the material and I pushed the foot brake in really far, mm -hmm. too far. And the thing wouldn't disengage it. I was parked on a hill. I didn't realize it. So I leaned down there and I messed with the mechanism, right? This is probably gonna, I'm probably gonna die from this later. So save this. Probably have a tumor, seriously. And I was like messing with the linkage and it popped out and the lever hit me smack and gave me a bloody nose, dude. Smack in the forehead and I had the imprint with the lines and a P for the parking brake right on my forehead for like for like three or four days. And the truck started rolling down the hill. And mine was F like 550 six speed flatbed with like a 20,000 pound dump trailer. And then I was like going down the street to get it. And then, yeah, but I'm just bleeding. So I probably have some tumor in my brain right here. I'm gonna be that guy when I'm like 50 and it's like this. Well, it looks like there's like a there's an impression on your that's from the right GoPro because I've been wearing it for so long yeah. slaving see it well, yeah see what look, look, looks the same yeah see okay so uh what is this <laughs> this is the the Navi the, the Navi Navi okay what? so to me it feels like it feels like a Grom kind of the stance the seat is more comfortable the Grom seats suck I'm sorry Grom yeah. guys your seats are terrible um, but to me, it, it kind of the, the, the seating position feels like a Grom. Um, it kind of feels bigger than a Grom, I guess. It is a little bit, right? It is. Uh, I would say it's bulkier. I would it, say it's, it's probably wider. pretty, 
pretty close to the same overall size. It'd be nice to have one here. What I was saying yeah. earlier, if you look at the back, it's like a skip leg day. Like the, the mm -hmm. like this section. Like she's got a thick midsection here. Yeah. Like if this if if she was a female, it'd be like, what's the boxer lady? That's really tough. But she's like, Ronda Rousey. So, yeah, she'd be Ronda Rousey. Yeah. I don't know. Ronda Rousey had some legs on her. Yeah. Though. See, this is curvy. Some beefy boys. This would be like Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Right here, Mariah Carey or something like that. Um. Uh, yeah. So. I don't know if I actually like it. I don't know. I wrote it. It's weird. It's quirky. It has personality. Um, I think that's kind of like Honda's that like has something on their website that's like, what is it? I don't know, or something like that. Like yeah, I like the the storage. I think it's cool. It's nice that it's not a trunk, right? So it's cool because you still get like the shape where it looks like a Grom, but you actually have some storage, which is cool. Um, I so like, you're gonna start dailying this to work? No. I mean, you got the storage. I, I have. It's like your truck. No, it's not like my truck. It's a lot. I mean, it's a there. lot like it. You but your child doesn't come to work with hey, you. Hey, Ralph Louie might fit in there. I have a product idea. <laughs> Do this with the the bubble so people can haul their dogs and like cats around, and they have yeah. like the bubble, like the backpacks, you know. Yeah. Just so make a replacement side cover door with a cover yeah. on it. Yeah. Um, or you can imagine just like a cat head poking out of there when he goes. Just like ho some some breathing holes and yeah. then a bubble. I think for, I think for what it is. I mean, it's like five hundred dollars more than. No, wait, is it? It's five hundred dollars less than a ruckus. Yeah, but no, no, no. Like ice bears, these Chinese scooters. When you go to a dealership here, they're it's like four or five hundred dollars more than a Chinese fifty cc. Chinese fifty ccs are like thirteen hundred dollars. So this is five hundred dollars more than a fifty cc Chinese bike. That's pretty impressive when you look at it that way. If you compare mm -hmm. it, well, like. So my ADV was fifty four hundred or fifty six hundred dollars out the door. Mm -hmm. So this is literally almost a third of the price. Yeah. Right. Um, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I, it's not that I don't like it. It's just I'm just a little bit confused. <laughs> yeah. It's so like it hasn't. I don't know what it's identifying. <laughs> Hey, be careful in hey. this day and age. You don't want to. You don't want to prove realize, its identity. I just realized what this bike is. This bike, if it was a person, is Paul. It's awkward. It's reliable. Yep. Looks good on the outside. No. <laughs> no, we're talking about this one, not that one. <laughs> uh, it's original. It's got the build. <laughs> it has the build of Paul, where it's kind of like, if you look at it from the back, right here, see, and then look at the rear wheel. Yeah. Now okay. do you see it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's got some weird things on it, like the weird brakes, <clears throat> all that stuff. So it's definitely, it's like a Paul. Yeah. Yeah, it's reliable. Still carbureted, a little outdated. Yeah. Well, not up to, to speed, I guess I would say. Yeah. Um, but no, overall, all seriousness, I like it. I like the fact that it's simple. Like mm -hmm. it has a pet cock on, like a on off pet mm -hmm. cock. It's really simple. It's probably going to be very easy to, to maintain and to service. I imagine these covers come off here. I mean, it's wait. Remember how much work the ADV was to take apart for oh, a yeah. valve adjustment? It's a nightmare. This is definitely going to be easier to work on, easy to modify. Um, the front end is going to be a little bit more difficult, but overall, I don't like this. I wish I would have done a regular handbrake here. That's the one thing. I, two things, two main things that I don't like. I don't like the mismatch wheel size. That's a little strange to me. Um, and I don't like this. But I like the fact that the levers are separate. So guys doing different bars, whatever, that's gonna be a breeze. I like the fact that our quick throttle kits are gonna work right out of the get-go. The cables are gonna thread right into it. Um, uses a lot of like standard kind of generic things, which is nice because it's gonna be easy for modifying and changing stuff. So, so uh, why did we get it? Because uh, we're gonna make all kinds of magical parts for it. Okay. Yeah. You want to maybe hint at a couple things or no? Do we? Do we? No. Well, we don't. I'd probably I, just we, leave them in the blue. They yeah. have to keep watching. But I would argue to say, I, I would, odds are we will probably have more parts for this bike than anybody else in the United States, I feel. Because mm -hmm. um, Pat's got a knack for the lighting, electronic blinkers, like kind of that type of stuff, controls, brake stuff. 
Um, Paul and I are good with the motor work. John can help cut pieces, carbon stuff or whatever. Just realize like actual real carbon piece around here would be really sweet rather mm -hmm. than fake stuff. Um, but yeah, we have access to the CNC stuff, our lathe, our water jet. So I think now we're at the stage where, where we can bang out some good stuff pretty quick. Um, and keep it in stock because it's gonna be all of our own brand, which is, that's a cool part about it. And we'll get 100, 200, 300, 500 at a time. So if you see it with this bike, um, the odds are we're gonna have it in stock, which is gonna be nice at least for several years. So Our little final plan for, for this, is that gonna come out before we put this video out or should we put this video out this first? This video out first. Okay. So we're, we're, we're trying to get more. Um, we had to go, John. John got this. It was a, it was a 12-hour trip, when it should have been a six-hour trip because the highway was shut down. Um, but we're trying to get. We had to drive way up north to get it. But we're trying to get two more. We want to do one for, one use, another one for another use, and a third one for something that doesn't make any sense at all. Which that's what I'm gonna looking forward to, to doing. So, um, but yeah, right now we're just gonna start by adding. It says lights on the button. That's kind of funny. Didn't notice that till now. On that, in actual plastic. Look at. Well, I mean, it's made for new people, so. Yeah. It makes sense. Well, it's braille. <laughs> for blind people. <laughs> <laughs> they did it so blind people can can read. And this is how they find the the, the gas because the, the carbon is everything smooth. Yeah, these are actually a bunch of little braille arrows that point towards. It actually the, says fuel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuel, like a thousand times. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I'm not gonna go down that road because uh, I, I just shouldn't. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm I'm stoked. So Paul's putting the collection together on the website. So by the time you guys are watching this, we're gonna have some parts for it: grips, mirrors, bar ends, kicker levers. We're gonna go through transmission, see what we can find. Um, look into the carburetor, get some dyno numbers on it. So I'm excited. I'm really excited about it. I, I it's not my. That's what I. That's my my jam. The free bugs my jam. Uh, but I'm just like, and I'm just kind of a little bit confused by it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, John. Yes, sir. You want to come here? Sure do. I want your hot take on the Navi. Now, don't give them away anything that we're doing. Okay. But what? What is? How do you feel about this thing? Okay, I like it personally. I think that it's like, it's every bit of what the Grom is, minus a little power, plus a little bit of like, fun. I feel like it's fun in the design. There's a little bit of like, I don't know, playfulness to the bike itself. It's it's a cool it's a cool bike. You know what I mean? Like the, the colors are good. I like the brown that they came out with. This is you know a nice pop of color. Um, I think with some modifications and a little bit of like time and and wrench turning, it, it'd be a really cool bike. It's a really good base to build a lot of awesomeness from. Okay, cool. My take on it oh, yes. is I got you. oh oh here we go. Yeah. My take on it is, I'm kind of a Brandon. It's 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 a uh, it's unidentifiable, I guess you could say. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. I think this could be for all different types of people because it already has a handbrake. We just need to get a lever for it. it has a foot brake, so all you scooter guys that have never had a foot brake, there's a new thing for you guys to learn. And I don't know. I I see what it could be, not what it is. Yep. So. I always like look at all these bikes and I'm like, okay. And then like Steady Garage and other people have like like modified them and done some stuff with them and I'm like, all right, okay, yeah. It, it like makes my brain go even wilder. And then like you were on your way back with it and I start thinking about it. And then later that evening, I just, my mind just started going crazy. And I had to like literally, literally write everything down. I still have things that I haven't told Brandon that I thought of. If we're able to make all the things that we come up with, we should have way more stuff than anybody. And we should have it in all realms, in a sense. It's the man, the myth, the mullet. So, Paul, the Navi. The Navi. Navi. That's Navi. 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 The Navi. That's Navi. It's pronounced what, Navi. What, what is so your, what's your take on this? How, how do you feel about it? Good, bad, you horrible. Honest or do you want 100 percent honest. Positive? Super, super honest. Doesn't have to be positive. Your well, real take on it. I'm standing in the approval hall, and I like the bike, so. All right. Doesn't John, matter. John likes it. 
Uh, we I want think your opinion. Feels kind of cheap. Feels kind of cheap. Okay. But it's a cheap bike. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's certain things that you look at and you're like, oh, they definitely chose the cheapest yeah. item. Like, example, I mean, this isn't necessarily bad. Like the throttle, it's all, all plastic. This, I mean, it works. It's functional. It's just not glamorous in any way. So do you like it? Do I like you it? You don't do. I don't know. It's, it's all right. No. What is your real opinion? What did you say earlier? It's weird, man. <laughs> it's 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 pretty gutless. I haven't rode it yet. Oh, you haven't ridden it? No. Oh, it's pretty gutless. It's not like, it's not as bad as like a stock ruckus. Mm-hmm. It's like a GY6 150. What? It's like a GY6 150. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's it, not like, like it's it's not it's not bad, but it's just not. I, it just needs a little bit quicker. It needs like just some. Basic fuel upgrades, I think. Hey, on a second note. Yeah. Uh, $15,000 KTM, Husqvarna, all these bikes. Uses are the all, same switch. No, they're all plastic. I'm just letting you know. Really? Well, my $400 Zuma has a yeah, metal switch. Yeah, built in 88 or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we can go over all the bikes in here and the different controls they have, but that'd yeah. be a big waste of time. If you were gifted this, like, because you wouldn't go out and buy one, what would you do with it? I, I may go out and buy one. We'll see. Um, oh, you don't like it? You said you don't like it. Uh, no, so, or are so, you just waiting no. to see what we do with it? Exactly. So I told myself this probably two months ago. It's like, all right, I'm going to see what Brandon does with his, see if I like it, you know, take it off some jumps and do some stuff with it. So you're going to wreck it. mine is what you're saying. No, I'm going to test yours and then I'm going to purchase one. You're going to purchase the one that you break. What? I already called one. Oh, John, so John's going to buy the one when I break it. And then you buy it from him. For half what he paid for it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. no, so I'm, not, I'm not gonna break Brandon's. I just know that Brandon's gonna abuse his, and we're gonna see how it handles the abuse before I purchase one, because there's other options out there. Yeah. Well, not I mean, this price range. Realistically, you know, anywhere from depending on your dealership, twenty two hundred to twenty eight hundred dollars out the door. Yeah. We were thinking about it. A brand new Chinese Wolf piece of junk, Chicago things like. Fifteen hundred dollars for a forty-nine. So it's about the same price as a buddy. This is. Yeah, and it's bigger CC, larger, it's brand faster. new. It's, so like, it's faster and it's a Honda. I'm just saying, it like, dude, it's like it's less money than a brand new Ice Bear. Yeah. Right. It's about right around the same. That's the crazy. Yeah, part. but Ice Bears are just overpriced. Or I think they're a good value. Good value. Yeah. Um. What are what are immediate things you don't like about it? Immediate things. Turn signals. Okay. This, I know that has to be there. There's this weird bracket up here I don't like. It's just, it looks like they just like, oh, we need reflectors. Let's just drill a couple holes and take this piece of flat steel and bend it and put it on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are pretty hideous and they look like they're gonna break. The front, the wheel setup's kind of weird. I don't like the, this, the whole front looks kind of weird in my opinion. And it'd be nice to have disc brakes and hydraulic forks, mm -hmm. but you know, it's only 2022, so. <laughs> We're not quite there We're yet. We're not quite there yet. Yeah, the the whole 10 in the rear, 12 in the front is kind of weird. The, that's that's common though. That's how the Rattler was. That's yeah. how the EZ90 was. Yeah, yeah you're right, it was like Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm ho my concern with this weird combo is tire options. That's a very valid concern. Uh-huh. What else? What else don't I like? The exhaust, I, I think they did this on purpose so people can run different wheels maybe, but the exhaust is like way out here. I think the actual reason they did it is so it's easier to take the rear wheel off. Oh, that makes sense. Easy to what? Take the rear wheel off to, to change the tire. Hey, can we just try to put the rear wheel on the back and see if it fits? <laughs> it may actually. Um, no, it no, the t no, the overall height would be different. I'm gonna do some math, maths on the internet and see what the overall height of that tire is, and then what the overall height of a small 10 inch or 12 inch wheel is the tires. Profile. Yeah, see if there's a tire that's possible. Nice dipstick. Yeah, you get dipstick. Uh, it's got under seat storage. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. There's a little it's toolbox. Got a custom 12 bar already, so Paul can wheelie it. See, it's, it's just barely not far enough. You're gonna break stuff still. Yep. And you're gonna hit this first, and this. Oh, yeah. 
That's probably why that guy already crashed it because he probably went past that. He probably slid on this. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you sure? Yeah, go for it, dude. All right. God damn, brand new Navy. It's brand, brand new. It has 70 miles on it. It feels pretty interesting because this is literally brand new. And I don't even know that guy. This is the first time I met him. So, <sighs> last thing I want to do, homie like wanted me to try to see if I can wheelie it. I never wheelied a scooter before, so I don't know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, easy. I think I'll try one more time and that's it. Uh, just because I don't want to break it. Oh, fuck! Fuck! God damn it! This is pretty solid though. Yeah, that's your scrape bar right there. Yeah, you hear that. <laughs> but yeah, it's got tons of storage. I mean, under seat here, you can put your gloves here. You could probably put, you just put your hat here and then you could put your, your child in there. Or if you don't wear hats, you could like you could put some snacks. Like a, you could fit a couple burgers in there put, probably. You could put a bag of chips in there easily. Mm -hmm. Especially if you opened it. You could probably fit two bags if you took all the chips and crumbled them all up. And oh yeah, all the crunched them there. up. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah you get they all eat the same. Yeah, they taste the same still. I guess this is turning into a, a uh, tour of the Navi. You want to tell us, show us some other features, Paul? Yeah, you got the, the little side compartment there. You can all your tools. That surprisingly fit. That's deep. You could 100% sit fit a six pack in there. Holy cow. That fits a lot of stuff. What? The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> what, your whole drill fit in there? <laughs> and a and socket a cylinder? Set? A socket set? A new scooter in a can? That's actually really impressive. Three flywheels. Well, you still got more room, Paul. What are you doing? <laughs> mm, yeah, that'll fit. Yeah. Wow. There you go. That's actually, wow. How did that? <laughs> that is way deeper. <laughs> it's like, it's like Ooh. a. You know what would be good? Is if people do the pioneers and stuff for like the traveling. There's so much. Water. Put a big water bladder in there. Can you fit yeah. a gallon of water in there? Looks Ooh, like it. Take all that stuff out. See if our gas tank will fit in. Oh, yeah. Dude, look at how much stuff I did no. in here. Put all of it right here, Paul. Put it all of it right here so we can see all the stuff that was in it. Try not to scratch anything. Doing my best. Oh. 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 Uh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Let's check the gas tank really quick. Let's go. Gra I'll go grab one. The true test. I don't think it's going to fit. Not that this is going to be too stark or anything, but... Oh, bummer. Might fit. Almost. Don't hurt it. Hey, Brandon, check this out. Uh, I may need them in the future, but. Put it whatever. the other way around. No, no. Not quite. You just about. I, I felt Is like you were just going to get enough? your foot and kick it in. He was. He was pushing. I, on I it. felt. Yeah. No. I mean, the That's foot's not going to fit. Foot stronger than the hands. So we need to find a tank that'll fit in there. Why? This thing probably gets like 100 miles a gallon. It's supposed Carburated. to be 110. Really? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> well, That's stay tough. tuned for more Nave, Nave, uh, Navi, Navi videos. Do they call it the Navi because it's for navigation? Is there a navigation option? Yeah. You just told them what we're doing. Oh you know, yeah. You just ruined uh -huh. it. Yeah, we're making a map mount for the handlebars. Yeah. Because yeah. it's it's so. It's not. It's not modern enough. It's retro, so well, we have, you have to have a map. Yeah, as opposed to the, these new bikes with their like Trail Tech GPSs and stuff. Yeah. We're just gonna mount no, a like a, a world atlas on the. Yeah, well, a globe. Put a globe never, on the back. Never run <laughs> the little compass. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Paul. Thank you. We just. We should just. Let's just call it. Let's just pronounce it wrong from the get go. <laughs> the type like, oh yeah, we got the new na Navi. Na Navi. We got the new knot, or yeah. All right, let's tear this thing apart. <laughs> <laughs>